Mission 5, Last Stop. Welcome to the last service of the night. We're currently at Rochester Junction, waiting for a late javelin to pass. When the signals are clear, proceed to the next stop. So hey there, Jory here, and welcome to Tokyo Train Mod 2. And welcome to the final service scenario for the Southeastern High Speed. So we're currently in a electric tire class of 4375, just outside of Rochester Station. Waiting for that service there to uh, depart. But while we wait, I'm going to make sure our train is set up ready to go. So, mask key is in. Set the reverser into the forward position. We've got some uh, lights as well. Uh, nighttime lights set. The yeah, difference to uh, daytime lights. As you can see outside, different level of brightness. We'll talk about that thing actually at the uh, station. Just to explain the uh, difference between the two. Um, that's all set. That's all set. That's all set. Perfect. Right. So. Uh, currently just outside of Rochester, at uh, Rochester Junction, and now waiting for the signal to clear as the javelin front crosses the uh, Medway River. Um, final run, this is really the uh, end of it for now at Southeast High Speed. There will be more scenarios later on when the uh, Class 466-465 stroke DLC arrives into uh, Trains and Worlds, so as always with the uh, local packs you do get a few trains to go with it as well. And uh, Yes, yeah, I'm sure we'll be doing in the future when that arrives. Also, we're definitely doing a few more streams of this, we'll definitely do a few more timetable runs as well, because, well, I say, so far, I'm adoring uh, Southeast High Speed, so it's not a risk I'll keep drop on, it's not a risk I'll give up on, it's something we'll definitely be exploring more of in the future. So, wipe since green, there we go, or even dual yellow at this point, and let's get going. Next station, Rochester, start at 22.04. Two minutes to get that. Yeah, throttle back up to the off position. Just to the left, you'll spot the uh, submarine. And then way back, and then way the river. Quite a spectacle, I must say. You're on the train, you see tourists who've not been in the area before. The first thing they spot is a submarine. Very shortly after, I'll take their phone out and take photos of said submarine. But I will say, if you've never been to the Chasm area, I've never been down the Medway Valley, it's a very, it's a very scenic bit of routing. This uh, Chatham itself, a very uh, scenic town. A lot of old traditional uh, buildings and museums for the uh, Industrial Revolution. So, so if you like history, well worth a visit. Do sound to 25 miles per hour. Enter the platform and then bring the train to a halt. Like I say, at the station we'll go through a uh, definitely about night slides of trains. And a few misconceptions noted with the uh, with few people in trains in that. I'm not sure they just don't know it or they don't quite put down the concepts of it, but well, might as well talk about it. I'm stationary at a station, so break sets, train cuts or halts, a little bit past stop markup should cause some problems. All the way to the right. So, train lights. Um, here in the UK, you have two modes. You have nighttime lights and daytime lights. You'll notice the bright lights and uh, dimmer light switches over. So, bright lights on the right, bright lights on the left. And basically, that serves two purposes. For one, in daytime lights, uh, at night, the bright lights in the middle, where the train will be passing on the other side, and therefore, with the bright lights, in the face of the driver, it can potentially blind them, it can potentially flare, cause a few problems. So you move the bright lights to the far side to avoid any glaring. Um, likewise, the right light to the far side, on the left, is where you have your signage. So you have your signals, you have your speed limit changes, you have all your blind side information. And so by moving the bright lights to the left hand side, it just makes it uh, more visible for the driver. So that's the uh, two modes of that. As for brightness, because a lot of people talk about how the bright's not, how the light's not bright stuff in Train Simulator or Train Sim World. Um, well, in reality, train lights are not designed to be bright. They're not even designed to be really well doing off anything. They're designed for spotting purposes. So, for a train driver, if you see a white light, you train heading towards you. If you see a red light, train's heading away from you. Um, if the train was to work like a car headlight, so light in front of you to spot the roads and all that. 
then it has to be a mile long and super bright, which is, uh, well, not going to be the case. So, train lights, they're not designed to be bright, they're designed to uh, spot. So, the speed is uh, 25 miles per hour at the station. Drop down to 15 as we enter the former Rochester station platforms. Looks like it should be Chatham, right there in about uh, three and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes even. And again, the former Rochester station closed in 2015. But the new one, when they realised they couldn't really, uh, well, there's no real room for expansion, no real room to upgrade the facilities, and so it's just both cheaper and more uh, cost effective just to close station and build a new one slightly further down. On the right hand side, and that's the London bound service coming in now, just over there. As we now cross over the junction just over here. So the points we'll head up to the line speed of 30 again. Run at 30 up as far as Chatham, and then outside of Chatham, back to 50, into Gillingham, turn over there, disarm passengers, and then pull into the, uh, to the siding. Getting a bit ahead of myself there, just off the 20 already. So there's the 30 sign, wait for the road train to pass, and then we'll carry on. There we go. Very tedious start, I must say. A lot of uh, very fine speed controls I need to keep an eye on. But once you're out, once you're in the open, things do start to uh, speed up quite nicely for you afterwards. Now entering Chatham. The night car set, we put into the uh, 6 to 10 car marker. Uh, things on door controls, the doors left unlocked. So I believe Ch uh, Chatham was the only intermediate station between here and Gillingham. Just uh, confirm on the display over here. So 2209, Gillingham on time. Calling at. Yeah, Gillingham only. It's fine. That's the media over there, showing it on a page by page basis. Yes, it does. So uh, 2209, calling uh, to Gillingham, calling at Gillingham only. Wait here for a couple of moments, wait for the passengers to uh, order some bark. A minute, we'll stop here at uh, station right now. About five seconds to go. Doors. As soon as the little hits uh, 2009, parts. So, 30 miles per hour the station and up to 50 as soon as we uh, as the main platform area. Just under a mile and a half. Three minutes to get that. I'm 
So we have got a junk check out shortly, so you can top right hand side there, the slash the yeah, signal, it's like the AWS to sound in the moment. Out to 50, let's get ourselves into Gillingham. I say it's a very tedious uh, exit, very worthy of a final scenario. Into a platform one at Gillingham, sorry, it's um, Rochester, so far side platform. All platforms are former sides, therefore need to slow cross over. And then bring the uh, train across to the uh, far right again. Bring it up to uh, 60 now, well, we can bring it up to 60. It's down to uh, 15 almost immediately, so in fact we'll leave it on breaking 1. See so now the single gear aspect and the junction to the right. Maybe it's clear. Looks like a red signal as well, and you stop at so. So it's the brakes. Bring out to 15, cross the track. The next station is Gillingham, where this train terminates. Please remember your belongings when leaving the train. Ah, we're not going to the uh, depot, we're going to the um, Terminus platform. Is it the tennis platform? Or is it getting tuned to the depot? I don't actually remember now. Um, sorry, no. It's not the tennis platform. The tennis platform's at, uh, not Chatham, it's at Grayson, I think it was. So yeah, we put into here, stop the train, and then, yes, let's put into the air. Uh, deciding at the end. So we'll cross the end of the platform, stop the eight-car marker, open doors, disembark train, and then see where everyone's get off. So the, uh, they do a marker track there, track base, the magnet, set, and sorry. Five seconds of uh, stopping here. Once we're past the 30 second mark up, close all ready, and then there's no real timetable there. Requirements get deciding, it's just in your own time, you know, you're uh, ready to go. While well, we're here as well, once you set that to a uh, server, so PIS, uh, up to the number one position, firm location, and exit. So now, changing in the read as not in service, so we just put the train, hold it the just uh, keep things nice and quiet to this point in time. Oh, so good, in fact, it's really nice to look pretty empty, I must say. Not a single soul, very nice. <laughs> right, lock doors. And let's, uh, let's put the train to bed, shall we? Uh, the depot conti consists of manual junctions. These need to be set correctly before entering the depot. That's fine, we'll do so via the map. So if we have a look at the route out, so that's red, that's fine. Enter, or we'll pass the crossing here. Siding. Junction goes uh, straight here. Once the set there, we do. Switch you to the right hand track. Switch you to the left hand track. And then bring it to the end of the line there. So, everything now sets. Signal's green. We'll increase the throttle. And let's get going.
Did you cross into, uh, well, as you pass the road crossing, quite a fun little one here at Gillingham, because the way it's coded, both in real life and in sim, it's all based on the platform signals. So if the platform signal's red, that means the crossings are open, and therefore the train can't pass. When the signals are green, it means that the road crossing is down, and therefore trains can pass. Unlike a mainline service where trains are running at speed across, these signals are done well before train arrives. Here, as train stationary, it's all based on the uh, platform signaling. So, small, small little detail, small little thing that does have a. Uh, goes in. To, uh, oh, just have to go more like the, uh, the scenario. Right, 50 miles per hour, slow entry and sliding. Let's bring train down to a halt. So it's a very dark side in this, very dark at night. I see some light ahead of us. Yeah, so you can see some light which will guide us into our stop location at least. Got a London bound train to our left. So you try and see where, which station you're coming in on that. We're going as far as Babbage off in that red. Going towards uh, Babbage. Oh, Rochester even, so we're actually almost terminated as well. Rustling, just get it up to speed. Now entering the main complex. Take track row number two. No need for the encapsing in now since outside is pretty bright at this point. Just slowly crawl it now to the end of the platform or the end of the uh, track row, even. The uh, drivers can actually stop trying. It's third rail on that side, presumably. No, it can't be because the third rail's on the uh, far side as well. The train drivers can leave the train. If not, stuck in there all nights. A little bit breaking in now. That's the last to go. Breaking three and stop. Set the DRI. Turn off the lights, set the reverser to the off position, remove the master key, spot the train. Okay, we're going to jump down to there. Uh, just uh, <laughs> side chuff that side and the up train. Uh, thanks for being run, let's see how you did. I'm sure in reality there's something a bit more uh, to stop you from walking on third rail, in reality. But hey, what can you say? There we go, there's a run. So, four stop locations, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Platform 1, Gillingham um, Depot. Not quite level 6 in the character, level 8 on South East High Speed, level 5 on the uh, Class 3 5. 18 uh, minutes taken, 3.8 miles driven, with 6 yards walked, and a final score of 3,791 balance points. That once again gives us a gold medal. Um, well, I guess that's now the end of that, really. Uh, five scenarios in southeast high speeds. We had three in the high speed drone 5, two in the slower 375 local service. Um, what can I say? We haven't said it already. It's a fantastic scenario, fantastic route. The map itself looks fantastic. The trains, the locos, just... <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Also, I've uh, taken the liberty to paint a Great Western Railway colour onto the Class 395 as well as a GWR on 377. So at some point, I plan to do a bit of fun with that as well. But what can I say? This has been a fantastic scenario. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm very excited to see what the uh, future of it brings with the class of 465 as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess that now brings us to the, uh, the end of South Eastern High Speed for the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Do like if you did, do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again very much to everyone who's uh, 
watch these. Thank you all for the support. And I shall see you again in the very near future with more Train Sim World action. Take care, guys. Have a good one. And goodbye.